We are here today because there's an entity that insists on stealing land that's not there while committing genocide and displacing people in order to maintain their settler, colonial, fascist existence. This entity is called Israel. And these atrocities are inflicted on Palestinians for over 70 years. Today marks our next step. 51 years ago today, Israel took over the West Bank and Gaza and ethnically cleansed 400,000 more Palestinians. Israel exists through the destruction of Palestine and the Palestinians. Israel is synonymous with Palestinian catastrophe and demise. Yet, Israel has the audacity to celebrate our Nekba and Nekba. On Sunday, Zionists marched in New York City holding their fascist flags while some were dressed in stolen Palestinian and Muslim traditional clothing. They jumped around and laughed while mocking and disrespecting our presence. They steal Palestinian land and culture while trying to erase our identity and existence. Zionists marched and spat on our photos of martyrs that they killed in cold blood in the name of maintaining this entity called Israel. Shame on all the elected officials who partook in the celebration of Palestinian genocide. Yes. Every day we witness the ongoing Nekba and Nexa of Palestinians. We bear witness to atrocities that we thought can only exist in, in gory horror films. Gaza has been under siege and a blockade for over a decade. The UN has declared Gaza as unlivable. Gaza is a concentration camp and an open air prison. The March of Return is where Palestinians protesters in Gaza demand quality of life and demand to return to the homes they were kicked out of in the name of Israel. While Palestinians peacefully protested near the apartheid fence, Israeli snipers murdered 125 Palestinians and injured over 13,000 Palestinians. Among them were children as young as seven months, amputees, Palestinians with disabilities, journalists, mothers and fathers of young children, for God's sakes, an ice cream vendor, health professionals, and then there was 21-year-old paramedic Razan and Najjar. Razan and Najjar. Say her name. A humanitarian with an enormous heart and soul that volunteered 17-hour shifts, helping injured peaceful Palestinian protesters. Razan and Najjar. Razan and Najjar. The top paramedic in the field. Razan and Najjar continued long shifts with injuries inflicted by Israeli military, such as a broken arm and complications due to tear gas inhalation. On June 1st, last Friday, Razan was murdered by an Israeli sniper. A bullet that pierced through her chest, her back, and through her white medical coat and vest. Razan visibly had her hands up in the air while she approached the fence to assist an injured Palestinian protester. But, Israel still murdered her in cold blood. Why? Because Razan was resilient. Because Razan had so much potential. Because Razan was a humanitarian Palestinian hero in this threatened Israel. Israel doesn't want Palestinian potential to exist, so they kill it. Israel doesn't want anyone or anything that maintains Palestinian life, so they kill Palestinian life and hope. 